Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of testicular torsion. This is a very common case in our clinical practice. So let's see this case. This is a 41 year old male patient who came with the history of severe right hemiscrotal pain and swelling for two days. He also gave us an interesting history that he didn't had any testis palpable since childhood. So that is another issue that came during our scanning. So let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the ultrasound image of the right testis. It is quite solemn. Yeah, it's all about the comparison between the right and left testis. But uh, here patient said that he couldn't palpate any left testis. So uh, that's why it's quite difficult to compare. So anyway, you see here uh, the testis is quite heterogeneous. You see there is a hypoechoic area over here is also heterogeneous and you can see some hydrocele around it also you can see some tiny septation so we'll see all these features on our real-time imaging so here is the real-time imaging and you can see this is the testis which is heterogeneous you can see some hypoechoic area over here and you can see also hydrocele which is containing some thin septations this might be a hemorrhagic collection or it might be some inflammatory condition. We can't say that uh, without any aspiration. But you can see the skin is quite thickened. There is a tiny cystic area over here which might be epididymal cyst or something like that. Ignore that for now. And uh, if you look for any necrotic space inside, it's not well understandable from this image. Uh, there should be some cystic spaces here and there. Um, but let's see it on another view so here is the picture again and now you can see this collection which is containing some tiny thin septations here you can see this heterogeneous appearance of the testes so we want to put some color doppler because uh, this appearance may be due to epidemo orchitis or orchitis or it might be due to the torsion so let's put some color Doppler and now on color Doppler you can see I have used low PRF setting and there is no vascularity inside. So it's a case of testicular torsion. Now when you say it as a testicular torsion you can easily differentiate the type of testicular torsion like in this case you can see it's completely out of blood flow and you can see here some tiny cystic spaces you see this uh, tiny areas here this tiny areas are the necrotic spaces and this necrotic spaces are actually the feature of sub acute torsion okay and now you see the vascularity if you see prominent peripheral flow then you will go for the late sub acute variety and if you see no prominent peripheral vascularity there is no vascularity whatever so you go for the early subacute stage. So in this case, we can't see any prominent peritesticular flow. So we'll go for the early subacute testicular torsion. If it was only an acute case, we would see no cystic spaces inside. Let's see from different angle, where is the torsion site? Now here you can see I have gone transversely at the cephal head position, like upper part of the testis. Now at the cord level, you can see this is the area where this spermatic cord is getting twisted it is getting twisted over here and this is the site of torsion you can easily use color doppler and see the whirlpool sign or whirling or swelling of the cord so here's the picture you can see there is no vascularity within the testis and there is some septate collection inside the hemiscrotal cavity now here is another view which is uh, the longitudinal section and you can see the cord is getting bulged here so this is the side this is the side for the torsion if you put color doppler and you see the cross section you will easily understand this torsion site so here's the color doppler picture now you can see this is the torsion site where you can see the cord having vascularity but this is the last point to see the vascularity and below that part there was no flow within the testis or epididymis. So this is the torsion site, which is located at the upper part of the testis at the cord level. Now let's look at the left inguinal region. Here is the left inguinal region. As patients say, there is no left testis. So I put the transducer over the left inguinal region and there was no testis over the inguinal region. So it's not an undescended testis, but 
Patient is 41 year old, so it's a little bit difficult to see intra-abdominal testes for this patient. But let's see some other features. When I try to scan the inguinal canal of this patient on the left side, I can see some cord-like appearance over here. So this patient is having the spermatic cord within the inguinal canal. That means there should be the presence of testes. Let me use some color Doppler. I have put color Doppler and check that area. I can see some venous flow. This is the pampaniform plexus of vein. It's a small but it's present. So that indicates that the testis is located inferior to this part. So we need to check the left hemiscrotum a little bit carefully. So when we search for the left hemiscrotum with high frequency setting, now you can see this structure is the testis. You see this is a very tiny structure and this one is the testis actually uh, located at the upper part of the left hemiscrotum. So it's very small in size, uh, possibly it's having some chronic inflammatory change since childhood uh, due to any inflammatory process or whatever. So it's present, it's not absent testis. So here's the measurement, you can see it's very, very tiny. The measurement, look at that. It's around eight millimeter by three millimeter size. So it's very tiny, but it's still present. It took 41 years for the patient to know that uh, he has got two testes. Here's the cord level vascularity. And you can see we have uh, got the left testicular arterial flow. That means it's definitely a testis, but it is a high resistant flow, which indicates there is a chronic inflammatory change going on there. So in summary, we found a solen right testis with inhomogeneously hypoechoic parenchyma and some necrotic spaces, which are very tiny. And color Doppler showed no detectable flow within the testicular parenchyma. There was a lamellated mass with concentric layering cephalate to testis, representing the coiled spermatic cord components forming the whirlpool sign which is actually the twisting or whirling on color Doppler. So the right testis is also showing surrounding hydrocele, which is also containing some thin septations, and the scrotal skin was slightly thickened on the right side. On the left, we found a small hypoechoic left testis, and also the epididymis is small. We checked with color Doppler, and there was very poor vascularity on that side. We'll go for the chronic epididyma orchitis on the left. Now the take-home message. So in case of incomplete testicular torsion, color Doppler may show vascularity within the testis, but an increase in resistive index of more than 0.75 and absence of intertesticular venous flow may help confirm the testicular torsion. Now let's talk a little about the testicular torsion stages. So we have got four stages from acute, early subacute, late subacute and chronic phases. So you can see the time. So our patient came at the area of early subacute phase. In case of acute phase, a patient will come with a history of less than six hours and you'll see almost normal findings. You may see some fluid collection or scrotal skin thickening, but there is no testicular appearance changes. Only on color Doppler, you won't see any intratesticular vascularity. So in case of early subacute stage, you'll see the necrotic spaces. You see these tiny cystic spaces, these are the necrotic spaces. So if the patient comes to you on the first day, then you will get this cystic space is quite difficult to understand. If the patient comes to you at the third or fourth day, the cystic spaces are very prominent at that time. So the acute findings are more obvious at this time. And obviously on color Doppler, you won't see any vascularity. In late subacute stage, the features are quite similar. Only the vascular changes happen that you will see some peritesticular prominent flows at that time. So that will be the late subacute stage and in chronic stage you will see the chronic epididyma orchitis like features. On color Doppler you may see some collateral flows towards the testis which may happen because there are differential arteries, cremate strike arteries which may also give some collateral flows to make the testis survive but it's already dead. So thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. We'll try to post more videos in recent days. So see you on those videos. Thank you. Thank you for joining.